Ask you Beal Productions. Doctor, you all right? Don't panic, Dexter. I'm not dying. I simply must regenerate a new body every so often. Please don't cry for me, Dexter. Well, uh, I wasn't crying. <laughs> In fact, why don't you take this time to go and grab some saucy movies and drinky poos? We'll have a boys' night. Well, wait, Doctor. It's happening now. I gotta see this shit. Ah. Oh. Oh. Please be a brother. Please be a brother. Please be a brother. Dexter, I... I have bosoms. Oh, yeah. Jackpot. Dude, Side Dog, it's like 11 in the morning. It's way too early to wiggle the thumbs. What are you doing here? Well, I, I just have to pop in to you. Just, you. You know Doctor Who. You know I like Doctor Who. You know Doctor Who, right? What? The, the series, the, the BBC series, Doctor Who. Oh, the show? Yeah, that's the one. Anyway, look, to cut to the chase. The 13th Doctor, you, you probably don't know. But basically, it's coming back as a woman to each. And? It's a man. It's normally a man. It's always a man. It's always been a man. But it changes bodies, right? Uh, I, I'm not a huge Doctor Who fan, uh -huh. but I know that uh, the Doctor is like an alien or something. Yeah, he regenerates. They change bodies. Yeah. Like, Two hearts. So there's been like, yeah. what did you just say, 13? Yeah, so this this is number 13. This will be the 13th so regeneration. So who cares? If they go in a different body, why can't it be a... Uh, has uh, there ever been a black one? Uh, no. Uh, Mexican? I, I, Have they all been British white men? Uh, possibly. So it's like really racist show, and people are freaking out because there's a woman, uh, anyway, a white British woman. Befo I'm before, assuming. well, the nuts and bolts. So that's that would be the nuts and bolts. But let, what I've actually got here is I've, I've I've got a sneak preview of of I think some of the villains and their reactions and how they deal with the new Doctor Who. So could, oh, that'll can, be interesting. Well, can we review it? Yeah. Well, let's. Let, I okay. mean, I don't know anything about Doctor Who. Yeah. I'm not anti. I just yeah. am not into it. No. But I'll 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 watch it and see what I think. Okay. Well. Let's 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 do it. Okay, let's do it. Well, my good doctor, if my plan succeeds, I will have infected the entire earth and all of its inhabitants with the deadly strain of my special Dalek virus. <laughs> You'll never get away with it, Davros. Doctor, I do understand why you're being so grumpy and argumentative. And why is that? It is because it is that special time in your lunar cycle. What makes today so special? Well, you couldn't possibly understand with all your female lady parts, but your mind is being clouded, your judgment skewed. <laughs> I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Isn't it a great irony that while I am sending my Dalek virus to Earth, your body is sending those unused eggs away? Look, Dave, you evil misogynistic bastard. I'm going to have to kick your crunchy, crippled ass with my fully functioning female form. Don't call me Dave. Wow, that Dave guy's a dick. It's awful. Teach, it's Davros. It's awful. Oh. I mean, I they changed the whole dynamic of the show by the looks of things. Well, why does he care that it's a woman? Why is he so sexist? I don't know, but I think the lunar cycle is actually a, an ongoing storyline in Doctor Who. So that that's I think that's pretty true... Uh, well, uh, I think this guy's just upset because he obviously lacks the necessary equipment to ever make an advance on her. So he's probably just pent up and frustrated. No, Teach. Doctor Who, and especially Davros, they're part of a British institution. Yeah, well, so is Bedlam, so that doesn't do anything for me. But I don't know anything about it. Sure. Great. No, well, anyway, I suppose on some levels it works. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Star Trek. This kind of looks like um, some weird version of Star Trek. Slightly older. Well, you know, uh, uh, let's just watch the next one, see what that one's like. Okay. So this is finally the end of my nemesis. Oh, yeah? What you doing? Our mighty ice warrior proton lasers aim precisely where the TARDIS is going to materialize five minutes from now. Wait, you can't destroy the TARDIS? I really fancy the Doctor, and I think this could be my soulmate. 
What did you say? You, you fancy the doctor? Yes, with all my heart. Uh, I never knew you swung that way. Uh, I must set you up with my cousin. He He's an ice cold warrior. No, silly. The doctor is an attractive woman. Well, shit on an ice pop. A girl, eh? Well, I I'm still going to have to destroy the TARDIS. <laughs> So, Tease, what do you reckon then? The Ice Cold Warriors, they're badass, right? Where were they? They were the, the predominantly in front of shot guys on the screen. With the green guys? That's like the them. lizards? You know it was them. Why aren't they made of ice? You know that they're ice warriors. Why? They're like lizards. They, they would die in an Arctic climate. Like, Why are they lizards and not like big uh, things of ice? Well, look, we, it's, we, we don't know the evolution of the Icemen, but let's just, let's just move on, shall we, to the actual script. What do we think to the dialogue then? So... You know, it's they're gonna. Well, I mean, that one guy seemed to really like her. He, and to be fair, after that first clip with yeah, Dave Davros, uh, yeah, I like her. But that uh, would never have happened. See, if you had a a, a male actor, they well, who cares? If she's that good looking, I'm gonna start watching Doctor Hooters. I suppose. Yeah. Sorry. Doctor Hooters isn't that her name? No. Anyway, look, you let's just move on to the next one. You've looked at Dave D Davros, the ice cold warriors. Let's just do it. Yeah, okay, so who's in this next clip anyway? This uh, is the last one, yeah? Yeah, this is now these are my favorite. You'll like these. Okay, what are they? Cybermen. Sound cool. The, uh, yeah. Cooler than the ice cold warriors. <laughs> Let's move on. Our new intelligence suggests that the doctor has become a female. What is a female? It is the same organic life form with different hardware accessories. You mean superior processors? Kind of. Well, if the females have better processors, why has it taken them so long to produce one? An interesting point. I will have to ask her before I kill her. Do you think that she will let me tune her processors? Well, I'm on board with those guys. Uh, yeah, I cool, want to right? tune her processors. They are great guys. But the process <laughs> I wasn't sure about the processors, but there you go. So what what do you think? Uh, the I like the Cybermen. Do they have like a cool theme song like Cybermen? Cybermen, no, that's, we that's are silly. the Cybermen. That's silly. They they all fall under the umbrella of the Doctor Who theme tune, which we heard when the show started. It's, right. It's that one. So I guess the overall takeaway from this is how come all the bad guys, like the Dave Ross, uh, Dave Ross. the Lizard Men, and the Ice Warriors, and the Silver Face guys, C Cyber guys, why are they all obsessed with her being a girl? Like, why can't they just tackle her as the Doctor she's always been? Well, it's the lack of tackle that doesn't make her the Doctor she used to be. That's that's the thing. It's she tackleless. Oh, and that's a problem. Uh, because it's the same mind, right? It's the same mind. It's the same guy, girl, alien thing yeah. in a different body. Yeah. So, you know, he brought up a good point. If the women are superior, why did it take so long? Is it because it's now 2017 and after 50 some odd years, they finally have the balls to go, hey, let's make it something other than a British male? Yeah. Because that would be innovative. That would be cool and cutting edge. You know what would have been cool and cutting edge? If they would have done that in 1983, when people would have actually been shocked in an uproar. Now it's like, oh, guess what? Thor's a woman. Iceman is gay. Let's just change everything you know about everything. Because diversity, for diversity's sake, is awesome. Is that what this is? So the Cybermen are cool, right? Yeah, I like them. Yeah, great. Movie reviews, unbiased and partial. I think I've forgotten about you, eh? My mighty Ice Warrior Wrath knows no bounds. If you wish to save your meager planet, then I suggest that you like, comment, and subscribe to this splendid YouTube channel. Otherwise, my mighty Ice Warrior Proton Laser Cannon will be discharging itself all over you! <laughs>